Hello YouTube and welcome to this 2v2 clan competition battle on the foothills. Um, today's teams are the Prussian Prince and Ban or Matsuda Katsuo and he is playing Axiom, they are playing Axiom uh, and Genius Handle. And um, this battle is again on the foothills, uh, the foothills seems to be the most map that I uh, get matches on. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's take a look at the forces here of the uh, Prussian Prince and as always, he always... Um, uh, pretty much uh, brings armies that are heavy on the Ashigaru type and uh, he likes numbers and he uses his numbers very effectively he knows how to get that surround and uh, he uses it to best power you can see that he's got four uh, he's got eight units of um, a sword infantry three four of them are uh, lone sword Ashigaru with a lot of chevrons and then he's got four units of katana samurai at the front three yari Ashigaru there's his general and then at the left he's got some nice cav contingent and he's got some great guard and some yari cav as well he is rushing to capture uh, this uh, sword dojo. Uh, the other player is uh, you, oh sorry, you can see that he, he also has some more Yari cavalry there, so he definitely has a lot of Yari cavalry. Looks like this was a high money battle, but anyway, uh, moving on to uh, Ban's forces. Ban has um, a uh, katana hero unit, and they're called the Lone Sword Samurai, which is kind of paradox. And then he's got a Yari Ashigaru here uh, protecting. No. That's a Yari Samurai, two Yari Samurai protecting his flanks, and he's got a Bow Warrior Monk there, and some Katana Samurai and Nodachi Samurai at the back. There is his General, and then he's got all these units here, and they are uh, Ryari Cavalry and two Great Guard, and uh, they are started dismounting to capture the Archery Dojo and the Sword Dojo, so the Matsuda player going for these strategic points in this battle. Uh, their opponents today have uh, what appears to be large armies, they've got a lot of Naginata Samurai, or Axiom at least has a lot of Naginata Samurai, and then he's got uh, some uh, Bow Samurai behind them, and uh, at the back over there, Matchlock Samurai, and he's also got some Fire Rockets, so this army is very heavy on uh, um, gun power, uh, but um, they are going to be... Uh, they will be uh, destroyed if the uh, the forces of uh, the Matsuda players actually engage them. So moving on here, you can see that the, this player here, Gen Genius Handle, he's got um, some Katana Samurai at the back and looks like he's going for the hill. And then he also has some Bow Warrior Monks. He's got two of those. And he's got some Matchlock Warrior Monks. And then he's got some Matchlock Ashigaru. Katana Samurai, and you can see here that the General of Ban is taking shots at the General of Genius Handle. He's brought him down to eight men, and he's going to try to get out of there. And looks like this is a um, a uh, look at look how fast the General is. Looks like that General is indeed a um, a physically built General. And you can see that now uh, <laughs> the Yari Cavalry and Ban's General are going to try and attack him. He's already down to five men, and you can see that the Prussian Prince has already engaged the line here. A lot of fire and uh, guns going on but these guys are going to be hitting their own men now and uh, if you guys have never seen matchlock samurai here they are here's some close-ups for you guys they've got pretty much uh, samurai armor and uh, I think they've got better accuracy and a little bit better uh, uh, range than other matchlock units and they may load uh, and shoot quicker and uh, you can see here complete and utter uh, routage of the Prussian fr princes forces and this is what a high firepower army can do <laughs> you can see now that uh, Ban is pretty much now left to play two players alone. And um, look at this here. Um, the uh, the Prussian Prince didn't want to go out of the game without uh, at least trying to do some damage. And he did, I think he did a charge at the opponent's general here. And uh, he killed him. So uh, even though his forces did collapse quickly, he did kill <laughs> the opponent's general. Which now leaves uh, two armies... Uh, without any generals against Ban's forces and you can see that the Prussian Prince still has some Yari cavalry and some great guard and uh, if he was playing 1v1 he would have just lost completely so against uh, excuse me against a match like Samurai and against uh, heavy gun power uh, heavy firepower armies like this you know some bow Samurai and match like Samurai uh, Yari Ashigaru and regular Ashigaru units will not fare well because their morale is not great at all. You can see that the Prussian Prince, Great Guard, and Yari Cavalry are still in the equation. There's like a brick of um, Les Stoners, the Bits, the Girls, the Biscuits, and Bone Saw. <laughs> so here they are in red and blue. And uh, these uh, Matchlock Warrior Monks are also uh, positioned nicely on this hill. And you can see that he's got uh, this player has got three units of matchlock units, and look at this. Uh, 
there is what remains of the general bodyguard of uh, this player. And this is actually what my general looks like. That's kind of weird. You can see that he's going to charge into that general. And let's see if he actually takes him out or not. Uh, let's see there. Yep, looks like there he goes, and the general's going to waver, and he did kill that one cab unit. And you can see that uh, the Prussian Prince is attacking the matchlock units uh, of the Genius Handle uh, and the bow units, which is a smart idea. He wants to give Ban uh, a, a better chance of winning the fight. And <laughs> you can see here uh, the Yari Cavalry of the Prussian Prince here, 10 men remaining. So the, the, the Prussian Prince's force, you can see that they came together nice and organized and they left together nice and organized and here are the long raw uh, lines of the uh, of the cowering peasants the Arishigaru as they run away and they did have some katana samurai with them so that's a shame uh, so more here towards the middle you can see that the Prussian prince pretty much dealt some good damage and um, here is uh, Matsuda Katsuo's or Ban's general and now this is going to be a very tough uh, pair up for uh, Ban you can see he still has most of his uh, forces intact. He has captured the archery dojo, uh, but the sword dojo lies in no one's control, and neither does the shrine. So let's see how how this goes from here. So the first the first half of the battle seems to be over, and uh, what what would you you know what would you guess would happen now? I mean, I would be really surprised if Ban somehow manages to pull a victory out of this. I mean. They've got the hill advantage, they've got the numeric advantage, and they've got so many matchlock units that it is just ridiculous. Let's see Let's see how Ban uh, does things and how this battle goes. First of all, you can see that he has placed his general in the trees, and he is taking shots into these matchlock Ashigaru using the range, which is, um, is a good thing. He wants to be using his range as much as he can. Um, and here come uh, some of uh, the Naginata Samurai of Axiom. And you can see that this fire rocket unit is down to five men, and they have uh, one experienced chevrons. And you can see now that he is pushing forward, so these guys are going to come down their hill. And you can see that uh, uh, they are being shot at with whistling arrows, and I think that is the bow warrior monk ability. So um, you can see that they are tired. And now let's see what Ban does. Uh, Ban's uh, still standing there. He is taking shots into these Naginata Samurai. And you can see that the matchlock units are way at the back. So I think this is a mistake. I would have ran forward with my matchlock units. Because if, if they were able to take at least one volley at this line, they would have decimated it. But let's see how that goes. You can see that the, 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 the two players are very worried about uh, Ban's cavalry. He does have some great guard and some Yari cav over there. So they can be dangerous if used well. And we'll see how he's going to use it. Uh, you can see that these... Um, Warrior monks were doing some good damage, and oh, that guy just got nailed. Where did he get shot in the foot or something? So here are these bow uh, warrior monks, and they're going to get flamed, and also shooting uphill at bow samurai. And you can see that um, uh, the uh, the two opposing players are now making a very large front and trying to um, uh, envelop uh, the forces of um, of Ben. And you can see that the bow warrior monks here uh, have uh, won and removed this bow warrior uh, monk unit here. You can see that now they have completely removed them from the equation. One guy left, he did survive. Uh, more uh, bow warrior monks here, and you can see that uh, these bow warrior monks are now going to try to get out of there. They don't want to be fighting katana samurai. And look at this at the back, here comes the uh, general of Ban, who is very far away from the battle. And he has just completely removed that fire rockets unit, uh, which I think was already out of ammo. And now seeing this, uh, both players are going to actually rush forward. Here are the uh, Machlak Samurai units. And look at this, they're not even attempting to take shots. I don't know if they're out of ammo, or, uh, but it, it looks like they're not out of ammo. They still have some ammo. Uh, but you can see now that if they want to shoot anything, uh, they are shooting into their own men. And that is causing morale drops for their own men. And that uh, they're acting as meat shields for the Katana Samurai. I've been big, big mistake here. These guys should have been the, at the forefront. To, uh, to, to, to take that shot and look at this let's see if that katana hero can make it to that matchlock line and yes he can so ban now taking that uh blood that green player axe him completely out of the picture and here comes some more cavalry from ban so this is this is now looking good for ban he might be able to push the advantage since the blue player has lost his general and he is taking out the matchlock units here as well so he has completely removed the matchlock thread 
and now he's running uphill. What a turn of events, ladies and gentlemen. And you can see here that this Katana Samurai is still chasing away the Bull Warrior Monks who appear to be on skirmish mode. Ban now running back to get that hell advantage. Excellent play there. And that was that was a big, big misplay by both opposing players. And Ban doing perfectly to... Um, capitalize on that you can see more cab here going for the blue players general who is the last remaining one in the unit and he has been left behind and he comes a swarm of bands units and they're going to charge right into this general and this is what Matsuda Kagemaru looks like right now I'll show it to uh, you guys probably saw it but this is what he's supposed to look like. He is fighting uh, this last general here, and you can see that the main force uh, of these katana units are now chasing into the trees. And um, you can see that uh, Band's general and his um, and his uh, Yari cavalry are here. And you can see now with the general falling, these units' morale instantly drop, and they're going to get charged by Yari cavalry from the rear. So Ban legendly and gloriously pulling that victory out of what appeared to be certain doom after the Prussian Prince's army completely collapsed. Big mistakes for the opposing players for not using their matchlocks at the forefront, but nonetheless excellent part and excellent playing on Ban's part. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.